Hey Lisa, you seem so relaxed today. How do you manage to recharge after a long day? My hobby helps me de-stress. It's my little escape from the stresses of daily life. That sounds like a great idea. What hobby do you enjoy? I love painting. There's something incredibly satisfying about putting a brush to canvas and letting my creativity flow. That sounds wonderful. Do you have a favorite subject or style that you like to paint? I am attracted to landscapes and scenes of nature. I find it comforting to recreate the beauty of the world around us on canvas, and as for style, I enjoy experimenting with different techniques. That's fascinating. I've always admired people who can express themselves through art. Maybe I should give painting a try sometime. You should. It's not about being perfect or creating a masterpiece. It's about the process of creating something with your own hands and expressing yourself in a unique way. That's a refreshing perspective. I think I'll start exploring some hobbies of my own to distress after work. That's a fantastic idea, Sarah. Whether it's painting, cooking, gardening, or anything else that brings you joy, finding a hobby to recharge can make a world of difference in your overall well-being. Thanks for the inspiration, Lisa. I'll definitely keep that in mind as I search for a hobby. Hey, Lisa. You seem so relaxed today. How do you manage to recharge after a long day? My hobby helps me de-stress. It's my little escape from the stresses of daily life. That sounds like a great idea. What hobby do you enjoy? I love painting. There's something incredibly satisfying about putting a brush to canvas and letting my creativity flow. That sounds wonderful. Do you have a favorite subject or style that you like to paint? I am attracted to landscapes and scenes of nature. I find it comforting to recreate the beauty of the world around us on canvas, and as for style, I enjoy experimenting with different techniques. That's fascinating. I've always admired people who can express themselves through art. Maybe I should give painting a try sometime. You should. It's not about being perfect or creating a masterpiece. It's about the process of creating something with your own hands and expressing yourself in a unique way. That's a refreshing perspective. I think I'll start exploring some hobbies of my own to distress after work. That's a fantastic idea, Sarah. Whether it's painting, cooking, gardening, or anything else that brings you joy, finding a hobby to recharge can make a world of difference in your overall well-being. Thanks for the inspiration, Lisa. I'll definitely keep that in mind as I search for a hobby. How does Lisa distress after a long day? How does Lisa distress after a long day? Hey Lisa, have you been up to anything exciting lately? Actually, yes, I've been attending a lot of local cultural events and festivals. It's been such a wonderful way to immerse myself in the community. That sounds like a lot of fun. What kind of events have you been going to? Oh, there's been everything from music festivals to food fairs to art exhibitions. I love experiencing different cultures and traditions right here in our own town. That's amazing. I've always wanted to get more involved in local events, but I never know where to start. Any tips for finding out about them? Definitely. I usually keep an eye on community event calendars, social media pages of local organizations, and sometimes even flyers posted around town. You'd be surprised how many hidden gems you can discover. Thanks for the suggestions. I'll definitely start keeping an eye out for upcoming events. Do you have a favorite festival or event that you've attended recently? That's a tough one. I really enjoyed the multicultural festival last month. There was such a vibrant energy and so much delicious food from around the world. That sounds fun. Maybe I'll join you at the next one. It would be great to experience the diversity of our community in person. That would be fantastic, Sarah. 
It's always more fun experiencing these events with a friend. Hey, Lisa, have you been up to anything exciting lately? Actually, yes, I've been attending a lot of local cultural events and festivals. It's been such a wonderful way to immerse myself in the community. That sounds like a lot of fun. What kind of events have you been going to? Oh, there's been everything from music festivals to food fairs to art exhibitions. I love experiencing different cultures and traditions right here in our own town. That's amazing. I've always wanted to get more involved in local events, but I never know where to start. Any tips for finding out about them? Definitely. I usually keep an eye on community event calendars, social media pages of local organizations, and sometimes even flyers posted around town. You'd be surprised how many hidden gems you can discover. Thanks for the suggestions. I'll definitely start keeping an eye out for upcoming events. Do you have a favorite festival or event that you've attended recently? That's a tough one. I really enjoyed the multicultural festival last month. There was such a vibrant energy and so much delicious food from around the world. That sounds fun. Maybe I'll join you at the next one. It would be great to experience the diversity of our community in person. That would be fantastic, Sarah. It's always more fun experiencing these events with a friend. According to Lisa, what kinds of events has she been going to? According to Lisa, what kinds of events has she been going to? Hey Lisa, what have you been up to lately? Not much, just been spending some time at the library doing research and reading. It's become a habit for me. That sounds like a productive way to spend your time. What kind of research are you doing? I've been diving into some topics that I'm curious about like ancient history and sustainable living practices. The library is a treasure of information. That's fascinating. I've always loved libraries too, but I usually just go there to pick up a novel or two. Do you have any favorite books or authors that you've discovered recently? Oh, where do I start? I've been immersing myself in some non-fiction books lately, but I also enjoy escaping into a good novel from time to time. There's just something magical about getting lost in a story. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. Do you have any recommendations for someone looking to broaden their reading experience? Well, it depends on what you're interested in. But if you're open to it, I'd suggest exploring different genres and authors randomly. You never know what you might discover. That's great advice. I'll definitely keep that in mind next time I'm at the library. Thanks, Lisa. Anytime, Sarah, and who knows, maybe we can even swap book recommendations sometime. It's always fun discussing books with fellow book enthusiasts. Hey Lisa, what have you been up to lately? Not much, just been spending some time at the library doing research and reading. It's become a habit for me. That sounds like a productive way to spend your time. What kind of research are you doing? I've been diving into some topics that I'm curious about like ancient history and sustainable living practices. The library is a treasure of information. That's fascinating. I've always loved libraries too, but I usually just go there to pick up a novel or two. Do you have any favorite books or authors that you've discovered recently? Oh, where do I start? I've been immersing myself in some non-fiction books lately, but I also enjoy escaping into a good novel from time to time. There's just something magical about getting lost in a story. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. Do you have any recommendations for someone looking to broaden their reading experience? Well, it depends on what you're interested in. But if you're open to it, I'd suggest exploring different genres and authors randomly. You never know what you might discover. That's great advice. I'll definitely keep that in mind next time I'm at the library. Thanks, Lisa.
Anytime, Sarah, and who knows, maybe we can even swap book recommendations sometime. It's always fun discussing books with fellow book enthusiasts. What topics has Lisa been researching? What topics has Lisa been researching?